thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Sarah Jenkins, owner and head trainer at the Original Method. And I can't tell you how much your support means during this time um, to all of the local studios and the fact that you are continuing to enhance your health and support your health and immune system um, by working out with us. So today we have a 30 minute workout and it is going to be a little bit more strength biased. Our heart rate will get up a little bit, um, but you can also accommodate if you've been doing a lot of high intensity, a little bit lower heart rate today. Um, and also there will be scales and modifications for every movement, so don't worry. If you haven't been strength trained at all, you don't need to in order to do this class. We're gonna start off with our warm up. Um, and for today, you will just need yourself and space for you to lay on the floor. And that's about it. So we'll get right into our warm up. We're going to do 10 scorpion per side. So our hands are going to be out like a T, flat on the mat. You'll bend one leg, push it towards the ceiling, and then gently rotate it over to the other side of your body. It's going to feel a little bit like you were trying to step on your hand, but don't worry, most of us can't. If you can, awesome. Some. You are really flexible, get flexors. We're going to do 10 of those total. So I'm through four now. This would be five and six. We'll go all the way up till 10. Just a nice, easy rotation since it is on our spine. I really like this one. I feel like I can get a few back cracks out of it which is so enjoyable. All right, once you're done with your 10 scorpions, we're gonna do what is known um, in my world as a dead bug march. So our keys of performance here, and the reason why I'm telling you is we are gonna do the three rounds of this warm up. But we wanna start with our chest nice and tall. Think about spreading your collarbones. Once we're there, one shin, two shin parallel to the floor. This might be where we stay. If we feel like we can keep that nice and beautiful position, arms go overhead, and we're gonna march one, two, up to 10. Our shins always go back to parallel. That chest is nice and tall. And then I want you to think about breathing all the way into your belly. So if you put a hand here, deep inhale, should feel that side really blow up a little bit. Once you're done with 10 of those, you'll stand up. We're going to do 10 walkouts to push up. That can look like this. You bend down, walk out, almost like the beginning of an inchworm. You'll push up and then walk back in. And the push up is not in our repertoire yet. We have two options. You can lower it a blank. Push up from the knees, go back to your plank, and walk it in. Or we can walk it out, immediately go to our knees, do that push up, high plank, walk it back in. And when you're bent over, we do want to keep those legs as straight as possible. We're looking for that hamstring stretch. And you're just taking nice, Steps about one hand in front of the other. In that push up, you want those hands directly into the shoulder. Keep breathing. On that push up, you want to make sure the shoulders and hips are moving in one line. You don't want to piper that up. So, again, moving with any modification that is right for you. This is the way to go. We are just warming up here. Once you are done with those 10 walkouts, you will walk right out, lay on your belly, we're back into those 10 scorpions. Just think about moving with your breath. Inhale as the leg goes up. Exhale as it taps the ground. If 
Nice rotation. You're looking away from your foot. It's okay that your shoulder comes up off the mat. And that's 10 total for five per side. Once those 10 are done, we're back in our dead bug march. Again, we're wanting that chest to remain nice and tall throughout. Thinking about moving the knee from your seat. Lift those shins parallel to the back. If we can master overhead, beautiful. Otherwise, you're right here. Those hip flexors are still going to get a nice activation. Or we can even put our hands here and make sure that we're breathing the way we need to. Deep inhale. Slow, controlled exhale. We want to fill that belly up with breath. And once you're done with your 10 per side, or sorry, 10 total, we'll go into those 10 walkouts push up. This is a three round warm up. So if the 10 walkouts of push up is a little bit higher volume, you're like, man, I only have 10 push ups. Then let's cut each round to five. Again, lowering yourself from that nice high. High plank first, keeping the elbows tucked nice and close. Push up from the knees. Great modification, keeping those legs nice and straight as you walk back. Or just lower to the knees. Nice push up and walk it back again. Whatever is going to work best for you. We always want to be where we're at for our personal fitness and take the time to really build the strength through full range of motion. What I mean by that is you don't want to just do little half push-ups. That just doesn't recruit the same muscles as doing a full chest to the floor all the way back up. So instead of shortening the range of motion by only doing a half push-up, if we keep the full range of motion and just assist from our knees, that's how we build the strength to one day be able to do full push-ups. Last round in the warm-up. Keep those arms out, palms are down. We're going through your 10 squirt again. Focusing on our breath. We do want to get a little bit out of breath in our warm ups. Want it to feel a little spicy, I guess you could say. That way, our body is really primed for when we do all of the other work. If you're already breathing heavy, don't worry, so am I. Time to tweet. And once you're done with those 10, we're back in our dead bug march. Again, we're looking for that chest to be nice and tall throughout, shins are parallel. And if we can be overhead, right? Maybe one arm is overhead, and we use the other to breathe into our hand. Our obliques and our erectors are what creates that internal back brace. So we want to be nice and strong. You feel like you have low back pain. Are you willing to bet that a lot of it is that? It's just a little bit of those weak muscles. But by doing those little dead bone marches, you'll be surprised at how quickly you're able to increase some strength. Last round, we're going to walk out. Your hands are directly your shoulders. Do that push up, walk it back in, keep those legs as long as you can. Breathe through the movement. And again, if we need to cut this to five instead of ten, that's great. This is the warm up. We don't want to burn ourselves out in it. 
And it's not a sign of weakness of training for where we are at today, either physically, emotionally, mentally. It's good stuff. Once you are done, no rush. You've got those 10 walkouts and push up. We're immediately going to start some core work. And that's going to be kind of also complements the rest of our warm up here versus saving it at the end. I am a big fan of just blasting your core a little bit as a finisher. So if you guys like this one, you can add the core finisher to any of the workouts that you're doing. So when I talk about core, it's not just your front abdominals. Your core is your chest muscles, upper back, abdominals, those lower back or erectors, your obliques, and your hips, and your glutes. So we want to work all of that and be strong there. So our first, we have three movements. Each of them are 30 seconds. You're going to start with your legs to one side, and you're going to lift the heels, scoop them to the other, and go back and forth nice and smooth like this. If we need a little bit of assist in order to do that, you're just going to lean back and that's going to help you continue to make it a little bit increased in difficulty. You're going to try to lean forward as you do it. The second movement, you're going to do side plank, either forearm or hand, your preference. What we're looking for here is we don't want our hips to sap. Pop those bad boys up nice and high. If you're doing it from the hand, we want the hand directly under our shoulder, not out, not back, nice straight line, okay? Same thing with our elbow. If we're going from the forearm, elbow under the shoulder. 30 seconds on one side, we'll flip it over. 30 seconds on the other. We're gonna go immediately through all back to this round two. If you need a little bit of a break, I recommend doing the heel tap, side plank, side plank, Rest about 30 seconds, but we're just going to go straight through from here. So, in three, two, one, we'll go. Heel taps. We just want to think about our legs nice and long. How high you lift them is up to you. If you do have something at home, like a little book, or you can put those under your heels to give you a target. We just want to make sure we're moving and barely resting our heels and noise. Got five, three, two, one. We're going into side plank. Hips are nice and high, squeeze those glutes. If you want extra work, lift that leg. But only do the extra if you can keep those hips nice and high. Deep breaths here, breathe into the belly. We have 10 more seconds. Last five, three, two, one. Flip over, right up into it. Hips are nice and high. Remember, if you're on your hand, it's under your shoulder. Elbows under your shoulder here. Lifting those glutes towards the ceiling. Deep breaths into your belly. If you want to play around with that top leg, go for it. Or remember, there are three rounds. Three, two, one. Flip it forward right into those heel taps. And again, if we need to lean back, great. Try to just lift your legs a little higher. Keep breathing. Legs are long. We prefer them to be long. First, and then if we have to scale by bending our knees, we can do so. Three, two, one. We're in that nice side plank. We know where we're going. High hips, deep breath, fill that belly with air. Nice long legs. Squeezing your glutes never hurt. Last 10 seconds on this side. Five, three, two, one. We switch sides, hips are up. 
Deep breath. Smile through it. Hopefully you guys are able to maybe even do this workout outside. The spring weather coming around is awful nice. 10 more seconds here. Remember, add in that 30 seconds of rest if you need it. But we're going into our last round in three, two, one, go. Last round, best round, not meaning most amount of reps. Best form. Breathe. Like those toes, squeeze those thighs. You feel tapping. You have 80 seconds. Five, three, two, one. You're doing your side plank. Hips are high. Maybe add in that top leg. Challenge yourself here. It's okay. It's okay to make it more hard, more difficult. That's how we get stronger. Hard things are good things. 10 seconds. Deep breath. Five, three, two, one. Last side. You're up. Hips are up. Check that elbow. Check that hand. Deep breath. We're almost there. 15 more seconds. You've got this. Test that top leg. Maybe you can only this for a breath or two. Five, three, two, one, rest. All right. Grab a sip of water. If you want, shout off. What we have next, um, this is our mean potatoes, is what I like to call it, the main workout. Uh, we're active, activated, we're warm, probably breathing a little heavy, sweating already. That's great. Um, and really, we want to be there before we do a strength workout or really any kind of workout. And that prevents injuries, but, but it also allows us to go really hard in our workouts and maximize that set time. We're not worried about warming up. Our systems are primed and ready to go. So if you're like, geez, I'm already sweaty and we're going to go into another workout, it's going to be even better for you. Uh, we have five rounds. I recommend going through all five rounds straight through, that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, if, if it is too high intensity, or you're just not used to these kind of workouts or movements, I recommend that you rest 45 seconds to a minute at the end of each round. Just let that heart rate come back down. We care most about how well we're moving versus how fast we get everything done, right? Uh, walking push-ups is our first movement. We have four movements. The first one is walking push-ups. And what is a walking push-up? You're going to start in a nice high plank. You're going to go down to elbow, elbow, back up. Then do a push-up. Those same modifications that we did in the warm-up apply. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand, go to your knee, and do a push-up. Or you can just go down, down, up, up. Try to switch with your lead arm. And that's your scale for those walking push-ups. Otherwise, you start in the high plank, forearm, forearm, hand, hand, push-up. That's one rep. We'll do five of those. The next one is going to be a lunge squat combo. I'll show you from the side. You'll step back. You'll step back. Do a squat. That's one. You're going to do ten of those. Now I'll cue you in the workout as some things that you can focus on in order to ensure that you have correct form. The last one, or the, sorry, the third one is pipe push-ups. So what we're going to do here, this is a very difficult movement, and we have a scale for it. We want to one day be able to do these. The pipe push-ups um, will really mimic that kind of overhead pressing that we might be missing in our life right now. So you're going to be in an upside down V. My elbows are going to bend and go back towards my knee. The crown of the head touches, and I'm going to press up. Crown of the head, not the forehead. And as you can see, I'm slightly sliding forward. Okay? You're like, that's not happening. Then, 
forearm. Those legs go nice and straight, butt's nice and high. Lift, lift. That's one. That's two. And you're going to do five of those. And that's going to start building that really strong um, and stable shoulder support that you would need for those. The last movement that we have is a reverse burpee. Uh, a lot of people hate burpees. I get it. I'm one of them. In fact, um, I have not met the psychopath that is out there who loves burpees yet, but if it's you, good for you. What is a reverse burpee? You're going to lay down, feet go over the head, throw them to the ground, stand up a little bit of a jump, right? So reverse ball, throw your feet to the floor. Or jump overhead. One, your legs are over your head. Think about getting them to the floor quickly and almost tossing your head forward towards your knees. Not on them, but just think about that. And then when you stand up, a little bit of jump. And then you go right back down into the next one. If this isn't happening for you today, no worries. It can take some time to develop that. So what we're going to do is you're going to do hollow rocks and you're going to rock up and down here. So that is like your scale and you will do 10 of those. So the workout is five rounds. You have five walking push-ups. You have your 10 lunge, lunge squat. That's one rep. That's your complex. Five high push-ups for that holding in the forearm stance, lifting both legs would be one rep. And then the last one is reverse burpees or those hollow rocks. I'm gonna go five rounds through. If you feel like you need to add a little bit of rest because your form is going to shit, um, or you just need some rest, add in a minute at the end after those 10 reverse burpees, okay? We're gonna get started. Let's set to my watch, I love timing things. Uh, and just so you know, um, when I practiced this earlier, it was about two and a half minute rounds. So test that, two and a half, three minute rounds, about a 15 minute workout. Let's see if we can do it. We are starting in three, two, one, go. You're going to go forearm, forearm, hand, hand, push up. That scale, remember, forearm, forearm, hand, hand knee push up, or down, down, up, up, right? You're going to choose what is best for your workout today. Once those are done, you do a reverse lunge. Your knee gently kisses the ground. There's no rebounding out of that lunge. And then you do an air squat. In those air squat, our chest stays nice and tall. Think about sinking your hips towards your heels and driving those knees out. Don't let them come in. Make sure in that reverse lunge, you take a big enough step back that your foot is flat, the front one. Once you're done with those 10 lunge lunge squats, we're in those pipe push-up. So our hands, shoulder width distance. We start with our butt up in the air. Elbows go back towards the knees. And if that is just not happening, go to your forearms. Lift one leg, then the other. Both legs is one rep. We have five total here. And then we're on our reverse burpees. Legs go to the ground, jump up, back into it. You're trying to get that weight forward over those feet as fast as you can. Keep breathing. You got this. 
especially if you're trying something new and out of the box. That's fantastic. Do what you can. You're going to finish doing those 10 reverse burpees and we'll write back. Round two, if you're staying with me, to those walking push-ups. You go to your forearm, then the other, back up, push-up, or go to the knees, do your push-up, or just go down the forearms and back up. That's also plenty difficult. Here we go, we got our reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, chest is tall, squat. We want the weight in the heels on those squats. If you don't know, if the weight is in your heels, lift your little toes for one squat, and you'll see where you're at. And if you're looking to pick up some intensity here, this is a woman kind of breeze through. This movement in the burpees. Chest stays tall. You move straight up and down like a carousel pony. Lunge, lunge, squat. You're doing 10 total. Keep moving. And as soon as you are through those 10, we're in those kite push-ups. Remember, hands under the shoulders. You're in that upside down knee. Elbows go back. It's the crown of the head that touches, not the forehead. And your hands are going to hit, or sorry, your head's going to hit in front of your hands. Again, that forearm, leg, leg lift is a good way to go too. Reverse burpees. Because you only have five pike push up. I felt hard there. Try to keep those knees apart as you squat down and sit up on those burpees. Don't let the knees touch. A little jump at the top. Going through all 10. Going through at your pace, whatever feels good. If you need that rest, you're going to take a minute of rest here, or we're going right back into walking push ups. Down, down. Up, up, push up. And you'll want to make sure you're counting your reps. I think I'm shaving a few off of mine. I'm not used to talking and working out together yet. It's a pretty difficult pairing. Once you're done with those five walking push ups, lunge on the squat. And guess what, everyone? We're already on round three. Chest is tall. Step back. Step back. And squat. You're moving for 10. Breathing heavy. Hopefully, blast in some good music. Maybe doing outside in the park or on your patio, getting that vitamin D, supporting your immune systems. Go on your 10. Once you're there, I push ups. But maybe at this point, 10 is a lot. <laughs> or maybe, maybe we're here. Point that toe towards the ceiling. Big leg reach. You're breathing. Come 
Once those are done, it's time to reverse burpees. The legs go overhead, fling them to the floor, a little jump. Trying to keep our legs set right as we go down and up. Adding in that intensity, going a little bit faster here if we feel like it's the right call. We are in round four, round four or five. This might be a round where we feel sorry for ourselves, is what I tell my clients. Round four, you're not allowed to be little bitches. That doesn't mean you have to work outside of your capacity. That means you move the best you can within it, right? Once those walking push-ups are done, five, you have 10 lunge squats. You want to move well for us. There's no use in building something on a shitty foundation, right? So let's move beautifully. Let's give it our full effort and have a positive mindset. Deep breathing. This is round four. Got one more act, right? This is what you came for. Going through all 10. If you're ahead, you're on those tight push ups. Five of them, you know what to do. And then 10 reverse burpees. Keep breathing, keep moving. Remember, if that one minute of rest is the right call, do it. Just means that you'll be able to move better and faster on those other rounds. Little jump at the top. Swing those feet to the floor, head towards the knees. Once those 10 are done, five walking push ups, last round. Keep breathing, keep moving. Keep those elbows going back towards you, full range of motion. No matter how tired you are, don't short the movement, adjust it. Doing those long joint squats. I imagine we're all quiet right now, working hard. Nice warm chest tall. Gently have that knee kiss. Knees out of the squat. Once you're done with these, you have those five high push up or whatever modification.
Yes. Ten reverse heartbeats. I've never been more excited for ten reverse heartbeats in my life. Sometimes you just gotta throw your body to the ground. Get those feet fast, pop them up. You're leaning forward into it. I have five more. Hang with me. If you're down already, awesome. If you've been taking those breaks, good for you. Oh. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Drink lots of water, hydrate, focus on your sleep and eating well right now, guys. Thanks for joining. Talk to you soon. Bye.